Hey everybody, Jim here. Gonna make another quick video. This is my Criterion collection. Hope you enjoy, and if you do, please give me a thumbs up and a comment and subscribe. Thank you very much, and here we go. First off, we have Blowout. Brian De Palma film, John Travolta, Nancy Allen, John Lithgow. This is my favorite Brian De Palma film, 1981. Uh, a lot of people think that it's slow. I think that it's awesome in every way. So, blow out. Next, we have David Cronenberg's The Brood, 1979. He was going through a divorce at the time, and this was basically his answer to uh, Kramer versus Kramer, which won Best Picture that year. This movie is crazy but it's great, and this is a really good release from Criterion. So, The Brood. Next, Dazed and Confused, starring everybody and their brother, 1993, Richard Linklater, Linklater excuse me. Uh, what can you say about Dazed and Confused? It's a great movie, great soundtrack, excellent cast, This is a really good uh, copy Blu-ray. <clears throat> okay, next we have Albert Brooks's Defending Your Life. Albert Brooks, Meryl Streep, Rip Torn, Lee Grant. Uh, yeah, this movie's awesome. 1991. Romantic comedy, which generally isn't my forte. However, I really enjoyed this movie. I think it's really funny. Okay, next we have Stanley Kubrick, Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. It's a classic, 1964. Everybody again and, and their brothers in this movie, George C. Scott, uh, James Earl Jones, Peter Sellers plays three different roles in this movie. Uh, yeah, this movie's a classic. And this edition's really got some fun stuff in it, including a little red book about uh, what to do if you were taken prisoner by the, the communist Russians. It's pretty funny. Okay, next we have another Brian De Palma movie, Dressed to Kill. Uh, Michael Caine, Angie Dickinson, Nancy Allen. It's a great movie. 1980. Same summer as the original Friday the 13th. I know those were the two big uh, summer slasher movies that summer but uh this movie is a slow burn but i i i love it i'm a, I'm a huge brian de palma guy and uh dress to kill is one of his best so excellent movie next we have terry gilliam's the fisher king starring robin williams jeff jeff bridges uh this movie is a comedy drama 1991. Uh, it's a weird movie, but it's it's really good. Um, Terry Gilliam is one of those directors that people either love his movies or hate him. I, I tend to love the, his movies. But uh, Fisher King. Next, David Fincher's The Game. Michael Douglas, Sean Penn. Suspense movie. 1987. No, I'm sorry, 1997. Uh, yeah, the game's a great movie. Speaking of great, we have The Great Escape, one of the best war movies of all time, one of the best soundtracks of all time, one of the best casts of all time. 1963. Sorry about the jiggling camera there, guys. And this is an excellent release. Next movie from a movie from my childhood, <clears throat> The In-Laws, 1979, I believe. Peter Falk and uh, Alan Arkin. This movie is hilarious. And yes, 1979. Uh, my parents took me to see this at the theater when I was a kid, and I've loved it ever since. The remake is horrible, but this movie's great. Okay, next we got some Martin Scorsese goodness with The Irishman. Uh, De Niro, Pacino, Joe Pesci, uh, 
podcast of many others. This is about the Jimmy Hoffa disappearance, uh, 2019. This was originally a Netflix movie, but uh, I was very happy when uh, Criterion released this on Blu-ray. A little bit of damage there in the bottom there of the uh, slipcover, but uh, nonetheless, I, I really enjoyed this movie. I don't think it's as good as, say, you know, Goodfellas or Casino, but it's still, it's Scorsese. It's a great movie. Next we have It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Another movie from my childhood that I used to watch on Family Classics TV on Sunday afternoons. 1963. And yeah, everybody and their brother from that time period is in this movie. I mean, look at that cast. Everybody is in this movie. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's long. You know, they could have cut like at least a half hour out of it, but it's still, it's a classic. Next, more Martin Scorsese movie, The Last Temptation of Christ. William Defoe is playing Jesus. 1988, this movie was extremely controversial when it came out. I worked in a theater and no theater in our chain would carry it because they were worried about people protesting. So I actually drove to a theater about 20 miles away from where I lived and uh, saw it. And even though I am not a religious person in any way, shape, or form, I really connected with this movie. I thought it was great. Next, we have a box set, The Lone Wolf and Cub Collection. This is a crazy, crazy collection of films. These all came out in the 60s. We have Sword of Vengeance, Baby Cart at the River Styx, Baby Cart to Hades, Baby Cart in Peril, Baby Cart in the Land of Demons, and White Heaven and Hell. And there's also another disc of there, in here of Shogun Assassin, which is a combination of the first two movies. They literally took half of the movie and half of the other movie, jammed them together, put a dub in a different soundtrack on it, and released it as Shogun Assassin. That's how I originally got into this. And... This set is amazing. If you're a fan of Kill Bill or those types of movies, do yourself a favor. Get this. It's great. Next, we have the classic Night of the Living Dead, George A. Romero. <clears throat> the first horror movie I ever saw. My older brother was babysitting me when I was uh, about seven years old, and this was on late night TV, and we watched it, and it scared the hell out of me. But it also became my gateway to Romero and zombie movies in particular. And to this day, I love every moment of this movie. 1968 came out the year after I was born. So obviously did not see that theatrically. <clears throat> Next, we have The Princess Bride. What, can you, what, what needs to be said about The Princess Bride? As you wish. It, it's, it's a wonderful movie. 1987, I believe. Uh, yeah, this is, this, this is an all-time great movie. Next, we have David Cronenberg's Scanners. Another movie from my childhood. My sister took me to see this when I was 14, and uh, we didn't know anything about it, and yeah, we both loved it. That, that opening uh, is still an all-timer, and uh, Michael Ironside is so great in this movie as Daryl Revick. Uh, this is the movie that started my Cronenberg obsession as a child, and I still love most of his movies. Not all of them, but most of them. Speaking of uh, classics, Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. This is number two in their line. I mean, this was literally one of the first movies that they gave the uh, Blu-ray special treatment to, 1954. And yeah, this movie is one of the all-time great it's it, it's a masterpiece. It's inspired so many other movies, including Magnificent Seven, which is basically just a remake. But you know, the original Magnificent Seven is great too. So, but yeah, Seven Samurai is awesome. Next we have Jonathan Demme's Silence of the Lambs, Anthony Hopkins, Jody, Jody Foster, Ted Levine, Scott Glenn. I mean, everybody knows Silence of the Lambs, 1991 Best Picture winner. Uh, great movie. Okay, we're just about done, guys. Next, 
We have another Terry Gilliam movie, Time Bandits. Time Bandits is a lot of fun. Again, one of those movies from my childhood. I was 14 when this movie came out. I was a big fan of uh, Monty Python. And uh, again, Sean Connery, David Warner. David Warner is great. Uh, yeah, everybody's awesome in this movie. It's so much fun. Showed it to my grandson recently. And he thought it was weird, but he did enjoy it. And last and most certainly not least, we have another Cronenberg movie, Videodrome. Uh, I did not enjoy this movie the first couple of times I saw it when I was a kid. You know, 1983, I just thought it was weird, and I didn't understand it. And then years later, I watched it again and realized that this movie is brilliant, and I was just too dumb to get it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Videodrome is awesome. Like most of Cronenberg's movies. So anyway, that's it for my Criterion Collection. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and please drop a comment. I would love to hear about your collection or any questions you might have about any of these movies. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next one.